Hey, hey, how's it going, everyone? My name is Joni. This is Weathered Wings. So welcome, welcome. Um, who's ready to make something fun, okay? We're going to just come on down to the table. Y'all, I'm going to be using some really, um, well, I'm going to be showing you all these, uh, and excuse my, if I sound funny, I have Invisalign in, y'all. I cannot take them out um, unless I am eating or flossing. So, bear with me. I may have a list. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have these really pretty papers I want to show you. And we're going to do a little um, gold leafing. I'm going to go ahead and pull you down. So, again, I have one of these uh, cubes, uh, just acrylic cubes are just plain acrylic like this okay but this is one that I've painted uh, y'all seen me do this on another live maybe I uh, taped off I used this one inch tape and I just taped it off along the sides and I painted it in the middle just painted it white and so what I was thinking was I actually didn't know what I wanted to do but what I had decided to show you all Okay, is I'm going to use, I'm going to use this one actually, um, but I'm going to use this, I want to show you all real quick, all these beautiful papers. So, see all that gold that's already on there? So, they're gilded. These are all gilded papers, so beautiful with all the gold already on there. Okay, so, so many things. This one has the silver. Isn't that pretty? That one, um, I don't know all the names of them, but that link that I put you ha uh, is directly to the gilded papers. Anyway, what I want to do is make this paper a background for this cube. Can y'all see that? But, so I want to decoupage this on the back, and you can just move it around and see where you think it would be the prettiest. I, of course, want some of these leaves to show up. And what's so cool about these um, acrylic blocks is when you get through and set them up, you know, they reflect off the sides. And so it just, it really looks like it's just kind of in, inside of this thing. So I love that. And then what I'm going to do is we are going to um, gold leaf with a stamp. Okay, so I'm going to use the gilding sides. This is from the La Campania stamp which has a bunch of little different things in there there's a chicken there's a cow and it's just got all kind of little different um things in this stamp a lot of flowers but i just wanted something really simple especially since this had a flower and so let me just show you let's just get started i am going to use my liquid patina but i love these papers they're just, I just think they're gorgeous. I love gold leaf. I think that's the thing. I love gold leaf, and this already has it on there, so, you know, it's just a, I feel like it's a twofer. All right, so I'm just going to spread my liquid patina. You, of course, can use Mod Podge or whatever decoupage medium you use that you like. I do like this one because it, um, it dries crystal clear. Okay. And also, I'm going to put some. Now, this is the kicker because I don't want it all over it. Let me do this real quick. I think I'm going to um, mark it maybe with something wet. Let me put this, see if I can see it. I may not be able to see it, but I don't want to get decoupage medium all over it because I don't want it on the sides, and I guess I could go ahead and cut it, but I'm afraid I just might cut it weirdly. Let's just see what this does. I'm going to be straight. Okay, so that's pretty good. It went all over it. So I'm just going to kind of come in here. I got my hurry up bridges on about this for some reason. So 
afraid of me. Go too fast or skip a step or something, but here we go. All right. Now, I think, I think I'm gonna hold it and do it like this. So I can kind of tell where I was and get straight. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're gonna go back over the top of it or the back of it, I should say. Now also this is a rice paper so you don't have to worry about the wrinkles they're just and you may not have had to put it right on the glass I feel like I did last time though so I saw I went ahead and did it this time I played with these one weekend This will be easier to get this off when, uh, all right. Now, let's see, I need a piece of plastic because I don't want that to stick to the table. Hold on. All right, so let's see here. This should be done in steps, but you know how I am. I just kind of start, I try to do the whole project. Um, but, okay, so I'm gonna let that dry on there and we're gonna move on to our next part. Hopefully that won't stick to that. All right, so I've got this little piece of plastic here. Is that lit? No, it's okay. And I've got some gilding size here. This is Amy Howard's gilding size. I really like this. Um, I really like her products as far as uh, gold leaf and gilding uh, size, just because, actually I think this is supposed to be shaking. It just does better, it dries quicker or something, so I don't have to wait. Uh-oh. All right. So again, I've got my little stamp, and you know what? I think I'm gonna put this on a thin mount, although I don't have one that's good and clean. But a thin mount keeps it from, um, and these are thin mounts, these little plastic sheets, but as you can tell, I have used it not as a thin mount, <laughs> but to pour paint on. But these are really great to, did I even get it big enough? It'll work. So I'm gonna clean this off too a little bit. But it helps from shifting, uh, shifting your stamp. And especially if I'm using something like this, I don't wanna shift it because I'm gonna be putting gold leaf on it. And you can clean these thin mounts with alcohol. I'm actually using a, uh, hand sanitizer, so it's not as good as like alcohol, but we'll see. Actually, that's flimsy though. I was about to say, it's already on a little sheet, but it's a little flimsy, so I'm gonna see about this. Maybe that'll work. Okay, so I'm just gonna pour my, uh, Gilding size out. Okay, you don't need much. And then I've got my brayer here that I like to use when I stamp. All right. Now I'm going to use a little hair dryer for this. I'm actually going to hold it up in the light so I can tell if I'm 
little bit different than ink or paint. You don't want it dripping, but you do want to make sure you get it everywhere. Which is the hard part, because I can't see. But I will be able to see once I stamp it. Hopefully I should be able to see. Okay, and I'm just gonna put it kind of right uh, in the center here. Move it just a little. Hold it. I'm getting pretty brave trying to do <laughs> something I've not done before on a live video. But I wanted it gold leaf, and I thought, well, I could stamp it with ink and then, you know, paint the gold leaf, the, the size on there. That's another way to do it, but I kind of wanted it solid. You could also, where I painted white, you could put gold leaf there and then stamp on top of that with something. Let's see. I'm just... Are sticking. I'm gonna just pull this right up. Okay. I think it's pretty good. Looks like I'm missing a little. We'll see. We'll see. I'm just gonna dry it with the hair dryer just a little bit. Now, you just want it tacky, and like I said, this one uh, dries pretty fast. So, let's just grab some gold leaf here. My hands are sticky, so I wonder if I can just pull this out. Well, let's just do it like this. Don't want to like try to pull it up again just let it uh just kind of pull the big pieces off the side and we're going to brush it off because it may not be on there good so you don't want to like pull it back off and yes this is a messy project y'all it is but everything i like to do is messy <laughs> I, like, I like uh don't laugh when you're working with gold leaf either I like resin and I like, I just like all things messy, I guess. It's just always so worth it to me to, okay. All right, so I'm just gonna put that back in there, capture that, I'm gonna get a really soft, um, this is just a blush brush, y'all, that I bought it. I don't know where I bought it. Probably TJ Maxx. Um, and I'm just going to start uh, rubbing it off. Or Walmart. It's just one of those elf. Uh, just a little. You know, you want something soft because it, it will kind of scratch a little bit. The gold leaf. So I always just um, keep a brush separate. use just for gold leaf. I try to anyway. Sometimes in a panic I'll grab it for something else. <laughs> but and then the magic just appears. I was trying to see if it uh oh wait, where did I take the um, piece off? Oh, here it is. I was trying to see if it actually came on there pretty good. What's this way? I 
almost a little bit right there, but I, I kind of like it looking a little distressed. Ooh. All right, let's get off this. Not distressed, but it's just not complete. I mean, these flowers on here aren't really complete. I just kind of wanted to mimic something like that, and I hope this is not the stuff to that. But I would probably uh, wait to take the back off. Um, I'm going to set this over somewhere else. Well, you know what? I'm going to leave it on there. Let me think about this a second because I'm going to get the paper off. But it really needs to dry a little bit. Not on this plastic because it won't dry. But I'm going to prop it up something else but can y'all see that let me hold it up and just kind of get all these you can have a little um jar to keep all your excess in I'm just gonna cut it so I can set it up and let it dry So when you paint, um, when this dries on the back, um, and I cut away the excess, I'm going to paint on top of that, and that way it'll show up even better in the background. As I, um, so I'm going to set it up like this to dry. Let's see how, can you see how it reflects around, all the way around the um, inside of it? It's just so cool. 